Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am bringing you a design team project for Doreen at Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. And I have used her beautiful bunnies kit, her dress up pink kit, um, to make this beautiful stationery set and an ephemera pack with a holder. And I have used the beautiful bunnies kit. I'd like to show you a few of the pages out of that kit. And it is just a beautiful kit. And when you think bunny, sometimes you think Easter, but there are so many different ways you can use these kits. Um, this one is absolutely darling. And I have a really special um, part two project in mind for this. So here is one of the pages. And then look at these, the ruffles are just yummy, aren't they? I just love that page. Oops, upside down. And then here's one of the ephemera pages. And you'll see several of the bows and these pretty florals that I've used throughout the project. And I didn't print out the whole kit because there's a lot in there, but I just wanted to give you an idea. Here's some of the sweet little bunnies, little vintage bunnies. Aren't they just adorable? And here's the larger ones. I think they are so precious. Oops, I'm fumble fingers here. And then my printer ran out of um, magenta. I had to replace it before I realized it. But look at how beautiful that printed in black and white even. I wasn't going to show you, but I decided I would because that's how versatile these kits are. You can use them in all kinds of different ways. So I think they're just sweet that way too. And you could do a little pop of color with the flower or a little pop of color with lace. I just think that is so sweet. And then here are some pages out of the Vintage Bunnies kit. So they're more of the, um, the vintage colors. And I just think that is absolutely lovely as well. So there is that one. And then I'll show you a few of the other pages that I used. And I've written down the kit's names because I knew I would not remember them all. And I won't be able to tell you which one is which as I'm showing them to you. Um, but you can go to her site and look through all the beautiful kits. Um, except this one because it has a name on it. So I've used a couple of the postcards in the project here you'll see. But um, this was the other two that were on the page. And this is from the Dainty Darlings kit. And then this one... I believe this might have been from the Divine Moments kit, and I put this into my editing program and I lightened it so I could use this for background pages on the um, flip sides of the journaling cards and things, so you can write on them. And they're still so very pretty. And then here is another beautiful page. Let's see, this way. So I've used the Faberge Vignettes um, Pink Mini Journal Kit and the Faberge Vignettes Vintage Mini Journal Kit, the Biscotti Silk Lady Elegance Kit, and the Dainty Darlings Paper Pack Tall and Skinny, and then the Dainty Darlings Postcards that we just saw. So those are some of the pieces that you'll see that I've used. So these are all from the, the other kits. But you can see how versatile, how beautiful. All of her kits um, are just so lovely. So where should we start? Should we start with a little ephemera pack? Let's do that. So I've made a little closure here with a, a clip. And I tied this beautiful piece of... Um, satiny fabric. This fabric is so fluid and just yummy. I absolutely love it. And then I took um, that first page that we saw. Let's see, where did I put it? This page right here. And that's what I made the ephemera kit out of. 
and I did all kinds of collaging of um, different laces, little snippets of appliques. I added some little flowers with rhinestones in the center. And then here's one of the sweet little bunnies. And then on the back, I left it plain so you could see the beautiful um, digital. And then we open it up and inside, it's just full of beautiful ephemera. So here's a little bunny card. I just did some little lace and some netting, a little snippet of an applique and the pearls, and then made a little journaling spot on the back. And then in this one, we have another little card. I think that's so sweet with the little ruffly lace and the pearls. And aren't those bunnies just darling? I just absolutely love them. And then there's one of the little bows. I did a little lace piece there and on the bottom. And then there's plenty of writing there. And then here we have one of the pretty um, floral pieces we just saw. And I used a little bow and then did some little um, collaging of lace little embossing piece there, little rhinestones. And then this is one of the um, pages that we just looked at that was not in the bunnies kit, but I thought it was so beautiful and you can just write on the back. I think that's so lovely. So I wanted to show the other pages and the other kits to show you how everything just kind of works together. like. You can mix and match the kits and they just turn out so lovely. So here's another little bunny. And I just did some little dangles here with the little florals and some lace. And then it's just a little flip. And I put some vintage music paper there and then just some little craft paper there. This is actually not craft paper. This is parchment paper that I use for baking and I coffee dyed it. And we've got another little strip of the music page and some little pearls and little netting there. And then the beautiful print on the back. And then I just um, fastened it on there with some washi. So there is that one. And then this little one. And again, the bow and just some pretty lace open it up and this is I believe part of the divine moments where I put it in my program and lightened the coloring so you can write on it and then the sweet little bunny down there and then there's one more in here and she's a sweet little one as well I use some vintage vintage lace up here a little piece of a cut out of an applique with a little pearl center I put in there and on the back just some little um, satiny fabric I had some embossed paper one of the little bows some rag paper and I just wrapped this lace around here to give it a little visual interest as well so there is that one and then you can see the beautiful digital with all the collaging the pretty little floral pieces there and then when you open it up I used that ruffle page from the kit and I made six little pockets out of that ruffle page that I double size printed so when you open up the ephemera holder it looks pretty on its own so there is that and then I'll show you some of the little pieces of the ephemera that didn't get used yet. So the little bows, and then all these sweet little bunnies. And then look at these, aren't they precious? Oh my goodness, I just love them. You could use them as a little journaling spot. And then the pretty bow. And then here's the little cards that were cut out. So I will tuck these in with the ephemera folder so whoever receives this can have some little tags to play with. You can use them as gift tags or journaling tags or whatever you 
you desire. And then that pretty one, and I printed on the back with that as well. So there's um, all the little bits and pieces. I think they are so fun. So that's the first part of this set, and here is the second. And I tied this stack of beautiful stationery with a um, piece of vintage ribbon, or ribbon, vintage lace that I got in an estate sale. I added this beautiful dangle. And we will open this up. I'll have to excuse my nails. I have been in the glue and the paint and all kinds of things. I am in desperate need of a manicure. That might be tomorrow's project. So we'll unwrap this and look at all this yummy yumminess. I just love this. So each envelope is different. I made shabby vintage inspired envelopes. This one is a vellum. I printed it on vellum. And that's one of the pages that we saw from the beautiful bunny kit. Look at how pretty and soft and delicate that looks. And then I just put a little lace on the front and a little snippet of an applique. And then in the center, look how pretty that looks. Oh, I just love that. I put this little journaling card in there and I clipped it together with a little piece of um, bow tied netting. A piece of coffee dyed lace on the front with the little rhinestone trim. There's a sweet little bunny right there. And then you open it up and then there's plenty of writing space on that. And on the back is that beautiful, beautiful digital with the rose. I think this one turned out so lovely. So delicate and feminine. Look how beautiful that looks. And then our next envelope, I made a longer one with just a little fold down flap. Here's our little bunny there and I used some vintage little ruffled lace to make a little photo frame for her. And then I wrapped a little doily around the top, folded it over, and then you can still see all of the beautiful digital there. And then you open it and there's just a little lace collaging there. And look at how beautiful that is. Isn't that lovely? I don't know where she comes up with all of these beautiful images, but oh my heavens, they are just gorgeous. So here's our little journaling spot in this one. And did a little collaging there, little organza ribbon, and I tri-folded it. So you open it up. Here's your writing space, a little vintage lace there, and a little tuck spot with a little bunny. And you can use that as a little tag, a little gift tag. You could write a little sweet little note on that if you wanted to. And just a little lace down there and just distrust it with the ink. And I think that turned out wonderful as well. So there is our second one, and here is our third one. I love this one as well, and this was made out of that beautiful ruffle page. I just think that's so pretty. So I just added a little lace down here. I wanted to leave um, some of it plain so you could see that lovely ruffle. On the front, I tied this beautiful chiffon bow did a little collaging with some lace and little applique snippets, trimmed it in that vintage ruffle lace um, that we used over here for the frame on the bunny, a little burlap flower with some lace, and then you open it and look at how beautiful it looks from the inside. I think that's so pretty. And then here's our little journaling spot on this one. So another beautiful, beautiful digital just some little ribbon um, fabric there, 
open it up and I just distressed it a little bit here, folded it, added one of the beautiful bows and some little lace snippet there. Open it up and here's our little bunny here and the little lace and just plenty of writing space. If you don't want to write, if you don't have a dark um, marker or something, you can add a little piece of paper. Just put it over there, a piece of craft paper or something, glue it on and write on that. Or you can leave it like this and you can write your little notes on another paper and just tuck it in either side like a little tuck. So lots of different ways to use these. I just think they're so beautiful, so feminine, and um, I think some of these little touches, like the chiffon ribbon, um, just makes it ethereal, the little ribbon fabric, just so beautiful. So that is that one, and then lastly, I made this, and I just folded down, I slit the envelope here, folded it down, and just kind of roughed up the edges there. Um, since it had a little key hole here, I put a little eyelet in there. I don't know if you can see. There's a little eyelet right there. Tied the ribbon and then added a pretty little key to go with the lock. And then just a little piece of the ribbon flower there. Some lace down here. Wrap some lace over the top, and then look at how lovely that is. This is so pretty. And then inside this one, you can see the beautiful digital again, and just wrap that little lace around. So there's just a little peeking out. And then on this one, I took some pretty soft pink fabric and just did a little overlay there. And then the digital is absolutely beautiful. And we open it up. Just some little vintage lace there, some little ruffly lace down here with some trim. Look at those beautiful pearls and the florals. And we open it up and we've got our little bunny here with some little snippets of lace. And then all these beautiful elements here on the digital. Another little lock here. And then plenty of writing space there. And it looks so pretty when you open it up, I think. So that is that one. So that is my project this time. Let's stack these all back up, give you another look at them. There's that one, so pretty. And then this little longer one, and then this beautiful vellum one. And then we will get our vintage lace. That vellum one wants to slip down till we get it tied in there, so that's okay. We'll get it. So Doreen's information will be linked in the box below. As always, we'll put her Etsy shop. I will list her kits that I used um, in here. I will put the link to the Beautiful Bunnies kit, and then I will list the other kits that I used and you can go on her site and and just um, put it the name in the search box and it'll pop it up for you and then we will do a part two here very soon gotta get my bow just so I'm picky about my bows I hope you like this project. I would like to thank you all for watching and for liking and commenting and you all have been amazing. This past week my channel has grown by leaps and bounds so I'm hoping that you're liking what you're seeing here. I've done a few craft with me's and I, 
I was a little timid to do them in, in the beginning, but now that I've got a few of them under my belt, I've realized how fun they are and they're not so scary to do. <laughs> so I will be doing more of those. And you all have left me such lovely comments about the videos I put up. So I thank you for that. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd love it if you followed my crafty journey and hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified of new videos. There we are. There we have it. We'll pull that one up so you can see the little bunny. You got the pretty little netted bow there. You can see the pretty vellum, the little lace on the vellum envelope there. Put our pretty dangle on. We've got that. And then we've got our ephemera holder with our beautiful clip with that bow on there and all of the pretty little elements that we made for that one. And this project, as I mentioned before, is a two-part project. I would like to show you one more element. I printed the bunnies and some of the lockets on fabric. This is on muslin. And the second part of the project is going to be a sewing project. And this will all come together and make more sense for you once I do the second part and show you. But this will tie in with part two. So just, I hope you stay tuned and see what's coming up next. I thank you all so much. And I thank Doreen for all of these beautiful digitals, for inviting me to her team. I'm so honored and feel so blessed to be a part of it. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye, y'all.